Hello, everyone. Welcome to our 13th annual African American Read-In, and it's actually the 27th um, National African American Read-In. Okay. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to bring Pastor Sheets up uh, for the invocation. If I can please ask everyone to stand. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful occasion right now. Lord, I ask that you bless each and every person that's underneath my voice right now, those that had a desire to be here, Lord, and couldn't be here. Lord, I ask that you continue to bless these young children right now, Lord, and the ones that are leading and guiding them and mentoring them right now, Lord. Continue to bless them and, and leading and guiding them in the direction that you will have us to go, Lord. And we'll be so careful to give you all the honor and all the glory in everything that we do. In your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. I probably should have told you all to remain standing. We're going to have the national anthem. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Janila Perkins and Angel Martin. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose white stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire or the rambles we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare. Those first sing in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, ladies. Okay, before we get started with our literary readings, um, we have a selection from August Wilson's Fences, and it's through Debbie's Angels Productions, director Mimi Simmons. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mimi Simmons, and I'm the owner of Debbie's Angels Productions. We're a theater company here in Jacksonville, and we are honored to be asked back again to come and perform a selection for the read-in. The selection you're going to see is from one of our actors, David Melvin, and he'll be performing a monologue from the character Troy from Fences, which I know a lot of you know right now is a hit movie at the box office starring Denzel Washington. Um, just a little quick fact about it. August Wilson is one of the most revered African-American playwrights in American history. He writes um, for African-American men and women, and he passed away um, about, I think, the early 2000s, late 90s. And um, Denzel is actually taking on all 10 of his shows to produce for TV movies for HBO. And um, him and Viola Davis won the Tony Award, which is the highest award you can win in theater, for their performances on Broadway for Fences. And so today, David will be performing a monologue from the play Fences. Uh, I'll set it up a little bit. This is right when he tells Rose that he is actually in love with another woman. Okay. Rose, I tried all my life to live decent, to live a clean, hard, useful life. I try to be a good husband to you in every way I knew how. Maybe I was born into this world backwards. I don't know. But you're born with two strikes against you before you even get to the plate. You have to guard it closely. Always looking for that curveball on the inside corner. 
You can't afford a call strike. You can't afford to let none get past you. Everything's lined up against you. What are you gonna do? Well, I fooled him, Rose. I bunted. When I first found you and Corey in a halfway decent job, I was safe. Couldn't nothing touch me. I wasn't going to strike out no more. I wasn't going back to the penitentiary and I wasn't going to lie in the streets with a bottle of wine. I was safe. Wasn't going to get that last strike. I was on first, waiting for one of them boys to knock me in to get me home. But then I saw that girl, and she firmed up my backbone. And I was on first thinking, maybe if I tried, I just might be able to steal second. Do you understand me? After 18 years, I wanted to steal second. Thank you, Debbie Angels. And uh, like she said, they've uh, supported us for several years now. And um, I look forward to next year. So I want to thank uh, both of you guys for coming out um, and supporting this event. And uh, before we get started, I wanted to mention someone. Um, and throughout the ceremony, um, you're going to hear some names. But his name was Parnell Glasper. I think most people knew him by Bull, and he owned Bull's Barbershop. And we lost him um, a few weeks ago. And I would like to say, on a personal note, when I first moved to uh, North Carolina, Bull, I, I lived in New River. Bull was right around the corner. Um, he did a tremendous job with the New River area. Kids who normally wouldn't be able to go to a barbershop because they didn't have transportation, they could walk right over to his barbershop. He was a good guy. He was active in our community. And he's, he definitely will be sorely missed. So um, let's give uh, you know, a couple of seconds of silence on behalf of uh, Bull. OK, thank you. Um, we're going to begin our literary readings uh, with our first group, Northwoods Recreation Center. Uh, Hayata Harris is the uh, Recreation Center supervisor. Uh, right now she's out, so Lorinda is uh, taking her place. Uh, if we can have you all come on. My name is Jayana, and I will be reading a poem from Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history, but your bitter and trusted lies. You may tread me in the very dirt, but still light dust I'll rise. The title of my poem is History. History has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Quote by Michelle Obama. Hi, my name is Brianna Landry. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. But what if, if you can't walk, then crawl. Whatever you do, keep moving forward by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. My name is Alexander Maddox. Greatness is not measured by what a man or woman accomplishes, but by the opposition he or she has overcome to reach his goals by Dorothy Height. My poem is by Langston Hughes. I too sing America, I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen. Then, besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I, too, am America.
Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. I have discovered in life that there are ways getting almost anywhere if you want to go, if you really want to go. My poems by Langston Hughes. Thank you, Northwoods Community Center. Okay, for our next group is Carolina Forest Elementary and Adam, Adam Rogers is the Recreation Center Supervisor. to sing. Sometimes the mist overhangs my path and blackening clouds about me clang, but oh, I have a magic way to turn the gloom to cheerful day. I softly sang. And if the way goes darker still, shadowed by sorrow, somber wing, with glad defiance in my throat, I pierce the darkness with a note and sing and sing. I brood not over the broken past, nor dread whatever time may bring. No nights are dark, no days are long, one while in my heart there swells a song, and I can sing. But we unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love lives its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives, and in its train come ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain, Yet if we are bold, love strikes away the, the chains of fear from our soul. We are weaned from our timidity in the flesh of love's light. We dare be brave, and suddenly we see we are all we cost and will ever be. Love, love, and will ever be, in which love sets us free. Today is filled with anger, filled with hidden hate, scared of being outcast, afraid to come of fate. Today is built on tragedies which no one wants to face, nightmares to humanity and moral disgrace. Tonight is filled with rage, violence in the air, children bright with ruthlessness because no one at home cares. But tomorrow I see change, a chance to be all new, built on spirit and tint of heart and ideals based on the truth. Tomorrow I wake up with a second wind, strong because of my pride, to know I fought with all my heart to keep my dream alive. Democracy by Langston Hughes. Democracy will not come today, this year, nor ever, through compromise and fear. I have as much right as the other fellow has to stand on my own two feet and own the land. I tire so of hearing people say, let things take their course, tomorrow is another day. I do not need my freedom when I am dead. I cannot live on tomorrow's bread. Freedom is a strong seed planted in a great need. I love you too. I want freedom just as you. Then scarred and battered, my hopes the wind and scattered. Snow has frizzed me, sun has baked me. Looks like between them they didn't try to make me. Stop laughing, stop loving, and stop living. But I don't care. I'm still here. At some point in life, the world's beauty becomes enough. You don't need to photograph, paint, or even remember it. It is enough. No record of it needs to be kept, and you don't need someone to share it with or tell it to. When that happens, that letting go, you let go because you can. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to support the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. By Muhammad Ali.
Okay, I uh, didn't realize that it was going to feel like uh, summer outside. Um, so if you're a little hot, sorry about that. Bear with us. Trying to keep up with the weather has been kind of difficult. So our next group is from Jack and Miette Recreation Center. Diane Mason is the center supervisor. Hello, my name is Jaden. I'm going to be showing you a poem from Martin Luther King Jr. The time is always right to do what's right. <laughs> My name is Cameron, and I'm going to show you a poem about Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. Hi, my name is Angel, and I really have, don't really have a name for my poem. I am somebody. I may be black, I may be white, but I am somebody. I am somebody. I may be rich, I may be poor, but I am somebody. My name is Jasmine, and I'll be doing a poem by Michelle Obama. One of the lessons that I grew up with was to always stay true to yourself and never let what somebody says distract you from your goals. Michelle Obama, thank you. Hello, my name is Nadia, and I'm going to be doing a poem of the Arthur is Rosa Parks. I had no idea that history was being made. I was just tired of giving up. Hello, my name is... <laughs> Hello, my name is... <laughs> Hello, my name is Malachi. I'm going to show you guys a poem by Booker T. Washington. Associate yourself with people of good quality, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. My name is Janila Perkins, and I'll be telling you guys a poem about, I mean, from Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may tread me in the very dirt, but like dust I'll rise. Okay, back to our literary readings. Um, Parkwood Elementary and standing in for the uh, supervisor is Devon Hayes. Youth by Georgia Douglas Johnson. The dew is on the grasses, dear, the blush is on the road. A shift across our dive, a shifting shadow goes. The primrose moment with rest, with rest, exhale and fade away. Life way, way, renew the autumn time, but never more the May. Teacher by Leslie Pickney Hill. Lord, who am I to teach the way to little children day by day, so prone myself to go astray? I teach them knowledge, but I know how faint they flicker and how low the candles of my knowledge glow. I teach them power to will and do, but only now to learn anew my own great weakness through and through. I teach them love for all mankind and all God's creatures, but I find my love comes lagging far behind. Lord, if they're God, I still must be. Oh, let the little children see the teacher leaning hard on feet. Paul Lawrence Dunbar, morning. The mist has left the greening plains. The dewdrops shine like fairy rain. The coquette rose awakes again, her lovely self adorning. 
The wind is hiding in the trees, a sighing, soothing, laughing tease. Until the rose says, kiss me, please. Tis morning, tis morning. With staff in hand and careless free, the wanderer fares right jauntily. For towns and houses are, thinks he, for scorning, for scorning. My soul is swift upon the wing, and in it deeps a song I bring. Come, love, and we together sing, tis morning, tis morning. Rain Music by Joseph S. Cotter, Jr. On the dusty earth drum beats the falling rain. Now a whisper more murmur, now a louder strain. Slender silvery drumsticks on an ancient drum beat your mellow music, bidding life to come. Chords of earth awaken, notes of greening spring, rise and fall triumphant over everything. Slender silvery drumsticks beat your long tattoo, God the great musician calling life anew. We Alone by Alice Walker. We alone can devalue gold by not caring if it falls or rises in the marketplace. Wherever there is gold, there is a chain, you know. And if your chain is gold, so much the worse for you. Feather shells and she shaped stones are all rare. This could be a revolution to wealth, what is plentiful as much as what is scarce. They're doing a great job so far. Um, I'm always nervous and I don't read a thing. I'm nervous for them, I'm nervous for myself, I'm nervous for my staff, and this is 13 years. But the nervousness, it never leaves us. We wanna make sure um, that our kids um, learn and um, really appreciate diversity. I think the world only works if we all have an input. Um, for the second part of this is a special presentation. So right now I'm going to ask um, for anyone that's currently serving in the military to please rise. Anyone who's retired from the military, please rise. Anyone who's ever served in the military, please rise. And anyone that's a widower or a widow, somebody who served in the military, please rise. I'm gonna ask you all to come up front. <laughs> well, you knew it was something. <laughs> We're not gonna get off that easy. <laughs> Two rows. The guy should be in the back. Ladies on top. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you all for your service. And I want to salute you all for your service and thank you for a job well done. Thank you. Thank you for your service. 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 Did I get everybody? And I also would like to thank all the spouses um, and your children because it's hard on them when they have a parent that deploys. 
we see that end of it in our after school programs. So spouses also sacrifice a lot because they're at home taking care of household things, children, and some of you are currently working outside of your home while the other spouse is serving the country. So it's a dual effort on both sides. One doesn't work without the other. So I would like to thank you all for your service um, and the commitment you made to our country. Right now we're going through some turmoil, but one thing I would like to say is that with all that goes on in this country, for me, America is still the best country in the world to live. And it's our military personnel that keeps it safe for us. So thank you. Right. So we're going to continue with our, our literary readings. And the next group is from Belfort Elementary. And Andrea Klein is the center supervisor. Hello, I will be doing a poem by Harriet Tubman, Dreamer. Every great dream begins with the dreamer. Always remember you have the strength, the patience, the passion to reach for stars to change the world. Hi, my name is Keanu Ward. I'm going to be doing a quote by Oprah Winfrey. Where, where there's no struggle, there's no strength. by Maya Angelou. Be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Hi, I'll be doing a poem by Langston Hughes. Ju the justice is a blind goddess, is a thing to which we black or white, so her bandage hides two festering sores that once perhaps her eyes. <laughs> I'll be doing a quote by Malcolm X. The future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Hi, my name is Neve Ortiz, and I'm going to do a poem by Maya Angelou. It is called My Mission. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Josiah West, and my poem is by Lation Hughes. My soul goes deep like the river. I can tell already that some of these girls, they're definitely going to be leaders somewhere. <laughs> I can see it. Um, we're going to continue on with Jacksonville Commons Recreation Center, and Jamia Rivers is the Recreation Center Supervisor. My sister soldier. To be a real man or woman, you've got to know what you believe in. You've got to understand that your actions have consequences and that they're connected to everything that you are. Sister is by Chidiye Oki. I know I can count on you despite our differences. I know I can trust you like the morning awaits the noon. You are my blood and they say blood is thicker than water. You are a true and supportive sister.
Anyone will aspire to have a dear one like you. I hope I can learn and be enriched with a forgiving, tender, loving heart like yours to keep alive the shades of our bond. You are a worthy possession of life. I wonder if life would be without you, dear sister. You are the number one on my list of blessings. I love you with all my heart. The Kidnap Poem by Nikki Giovanni. Ever been kidnapped by a poet? If I were a poet, I would kidnap you. Put you in my phrases and meter you to Jones Beach or Coney Island or maybe just to my house. Lyric you in lilacs, dash you in the rain, blend into the beach to complement my sea. Re Lyric you in lilac, er, play the lyre for you, oat you in my love song, anything to win you over. Wrap you in red, black, green, show you off to mama. Yeah, if I were a poet, I would kidnap. Okay, our next group is coming from Jacksonville Commons Elementary and Marianne filling in for the uh, supervisor. into a kind of life I had no model born in Babylon what did I see to be except myself good job Between soft, tiny, and good. My one hand holding tight, my other hand comes a little bit with me, that something has tried to kill me and has bowed. Hey, Black Child, do you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you know you can be what you want to be? If you try to be what you can be. going where you are really going do you know you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn hello my name is Layla and I'm gonna be reading hey black child by Kelty Cullen hey black child do you know you are strong I mean really strong do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can do. Hey, black child. Be what you can be. Learn you must learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. some of these kids since kindergarten and it amazes me because some of them are as tall as I am now. <laughs> so I know I'm getting old. Uh, our next and last uh, group will be from Jacksonville uh, Youth Center and Jamia Rivers is filling in for the center supervisor. I know my soul by Charles McKay. I plucked my soul out of a secret place and held it to the mirror of my eye to see it like a star against the sky, a twitching body quivering in space, 
A spark of passion shining on my face, and I exploded to determine why. This awful key to my affinity conspires to rob me of my sweet joy and grace. If the sign may not be fully read, if I can't comprehend but not control, I need not gloom my days of future dread because I see a part and not the whole. Um, Emmett Till by James and Maywell. I hear a whistling through the water. Little Emmett won't be still. He keeps on floating round the darkness, edging through the silent chill. Tell me, please, that bedtime story of the fairy river boy who swims forever deep in treasures and that goes in a coral toy. Um, I will be reading Seekers of Vision by Lucille Clifton. What does this mean to see walking men wrapped in the color of death? To hear from their tongues such difficult syllables? Could they be the spirits of our hope or the pale ghost of our future? Who would believe the red road may not run on forever? Who will believe a tribe of ice may live and we may not? Okay, um, we're going to bring all of our uh, readers uh, back up. So if you want to take pictures, they also have, uh, will have their certificates. Um, so we had Northwoods Recreation Center, Carolina Forest Elementary, Jackson Miette Recreation Center, Parkwood, Buff Fork Elementary, Jacksonville Commons Recreation Center, Jacksonville Commons Elementary, and Jacksonville Youth Center. Bear with us, please. <laughs> Put the little ones up front. Come on, little ones. Facebook Live, and then uh, I want to say that uh, we're definitely going to be on G10, so you can watch the program again. And uh, there was one more other. I want to say Instagram. I believe Instagram. Uh, your little kids probably know more about the media, social media. <laughs> you, can, you can get the information from them. But thank you all. Thank you, parents, grandparents, friends, and just someone who just came out to watch the program.
Okay, um, before we conclude, first of all, the young lady that lost her flip-flop, I wish I had on flip-flops, I'm hot. Uh, but uh, Susan Baptist, who is Director of Recreation Services, she's gonna have some closing remarks, and thank you again for coming out. I won't keep you long. I, I realize you've clapped a lot for this fabulous afternoon. We appreciate everything you've done. Uh, on behalf of the city of Jacksonville, it's such an inspiring day for us. We do this once a year, and it's a blessing for us to do this. I have to tell you, parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles in the room, you're to be commended. This is a phenomenal group of kids right here. What they've done and the bravery they, they showed by coming in front of everybody, when they see themselves on TV, hopefully it's a day they're going to remember forever and ever. It just is a beautiful community that we live in. We're so proud to be in this community. Um, from everybody, all the adults that stood up here earlier to the kids, we could not be more proud to be part of the city of Jacksonville. We were reminded on a daily basis of those that we lose throughout the year and that everything that we do and everything we say and everything we uh, advocate for is important. We're part of this community. We lost a gentleman, Oliver Hill, last week, and he he believed and he gave his time and effort to what he believed in for this community. No different from these kids. Give these 10, uh, 10 20 years for these kids, and we're going to be reciting their words. It's their words that we're going to recite, and it's to your credit and to your blessings that we're able to do that. So I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for us. We continue to try and inspire these kids on a daily basis in our after school programs and our summer programs. I, I could not be more proud of our staff, Melanie Marzette. She's a, she's a credit to these kids. It, she doesn't like being put on the spot, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But Melanie and her team worked really hard to give your kids a safe and wonderful place every day, every summer. So if there's anything we can ever do for you and for your family, don't hesitate to let us know. And with that, we have some wonderful snacks and some treats and a cake for you and your kids to enjoy the beautiful day that we have and the blessing that you've given us today. So Godspeed and thank you very much. Appreciate it.